bunch of friends. And fuck that. Who don't like having a nice whip to pull up in? Who doesn't like being confused of what restaurant should I eat? Should I have Italian? Should I have Indian? Should I have Chinese? Well, what do I want to eat? It's, it's a great fucking feeling. Or, hey, pack up the family. Let's go on a trip. Who doesn't want to be in that, man? Don't, don't lie to yourself, y'all. Like, for those that be like, money ain't everything, it doesn't bring you happiness, stop the lies. Stop the lies. Get the money shit out the way. Get the money shit out the way. Like, concentrate on the bread. Get the money shit out the way. And then watch how everything else opens up to you. I love options. Don't you love options? I love options. Only having a primary business, a, a primary place of business registered, a boy physically being in the state. I have no idea what that meant. <laughs> um, there's too many options out here. When they're talking about multiple streams of income, it's not multiple streams of income where it's like, I'm a barber and then I'm a jump into fucking real estate and then I'm a jump into rent a car business. That's not what they mean when they're talking about multiple streams of income. It means like if I'm a barber, maybe I might create a book talking about being a barber or create a course on how to build a six figure barber business or maybe offer some tutoring, a mentorship to young barbers or opening a barber college or, you know, this is multiple streams of income within the same sector that you're in. It's not talking about you going from industry to industry to industry to industry because there's a big learning curve that you have to go through. And unless you have a mentor and you have the bread to drop on a, a, a mentor that got skin in the game, man, dude, you're gonna, you're gonna waste a lot of time. You're gonna waste a lot. Everything I do now is in the notary business, whether it's an online course, whether it's a book, whether it's me doing notarizations, whether it's me uh, dispatching notaries for my agency, everything is based around the goddamn notary business. Until this shit is running on its own, or I franchise it, or I, I fucking sell it off to the highest bidder, then I'll move on to the next thing. But as of right now, there's too much gold. You understand, there's too much oil here. There's too much oil in this notary industry for me to say, hey, I can't find any gold over here. Let me fucking go out to California and see if I could dig up gold over there. If I'm in a market like Chicago and, and it's gravy over here, listen, you guys can definitely penetrate your market on a level. I did my steady stamping. Let me share this with you and then I'll, I'll jump off real quick. I did my last steady stamping. Um, we did book publishing secrets. Shout out to everybody that uh, bought the steady stamping course, right? I showed the students how many books are literally out there for notaries. Now, the notary industry has been around way before the 18th century. That's how old this industry is. There's probably less than 10 books on how to become a successful notary. Like, what? A, let's just say, what about Bob, right? Let's say you have the R01 capabilities, right? You know how many you know how many notaries would purchase a book just off of that? If you if you're seasoned and you know what the hell you're talking about when it comes to RONs, do you know how many notaries are literally looking for books on how to successfully execute RONs in their state? The mark I don't know if you got, this is one of my favorite books ever. Blue Ocean Strategy. Explain what Blue Ocean Strategy is. You don't want to be in a position where you're fighting and you're cutting off other notaries' heads off to bid for a goddamn assignment. That is called the Red Ocean. That is the blood shark infested ocean. You don't want to be there. You want to be in the uncontested blue ocean where there's plenty of food. There's plenty of space for, to run, uh, uh, swim, and, and gain momentum. Snapdocs will put a damn assignment up. Every goddamn 
uh, notary is shooting at each other. Boom, boom. I'm going to take that bit. I'm going to take that assignment. Boom, 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 boom. Cutting each other necks, stomping them, harpoon in the chest, all kind of crazy shit. You, build, you bid for 50 bucks. I'm going to bid for $45. I'm going to get this assignment. It's mayhem. It's like piranhas going after the same piece of meat, biting each other in the melee. That's not where you want to be. You want to be here. This beautiful blue ocean. All right, hey guys, my name is Ishmael. I am the owner of Matherin Notary Services. Um, I operate a fully mobile notary service here in Massachusetts. And I just wanted to take this time out to show my appreciation for Tiger. Um, I met Tiger less than a year ago and he's been absolutely amazing. He's been supportive. He's been educating, he's been motivating. So for those of you who are watching this and you are contemplating whether or not you should be following his content or putting anything into um, into action, I highly recommend that you, I highly recommend his services. I highly recommend his books. I have one right here, Rise of the Smart Notary. It's an absolute must read for every new notary. Even if you've been in the notary industry for a while, there's so many things in here that you can learn. And what I like about it is how straightforward it is. Now, he's not going to tell you what you want to hear. He's not one of those guys. So I think that's one reason why I gravitate towards him. He's absolutely amazing. Definitely, definitely highly recommend him. So if you guys have any questions, just reach out to him. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me as well. And let's get this show on the road. Wish you guys much success.